So my phone's been ringing off the hook with some of the in, most interesting consulting requests that I've seen in a long time. Companies calling in a panic because their AI built applications are falling apart faster than a house of cards. So last week alone, I got three calls from businesses whose vibe coded projects turned into complete disasters. Now one CEO told me that his AI generated e-commerce site was literally creating fake customer reviews by itself. Another founder discovered that their AI agent deleted their entire database despite explicit instructions not to touch it. What happens when non-technical people think they can replace developers with chat GPT prompts. So what occurs when businesses realize that working demos and production ready systems are very different things. The vibe coding cleanup specialist professional is exploding. And today I'm going to share some real calls that we're getting with you. Let's dive into this today. All right. So first of all, thanks everybody for hanging out with me as I've been trying to figure out my audio. Hopefully the audio is a lot better today. We're working on it. It's still a work in progress. If you give you know feedback, obviously your feedback's been well appreciated. St thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Now, the AI coding explosion has created a new category of technical disaster that I've never really seen before. Businesses thought they could skip hiring developers by using AI tools to vibe code entire applications. Now they're calling consultants like me to fix the mess. One of the first things about this is so crazy is the, the sheer volume of code that these applications have is staggering. Now, these aren't just small, small bugs because of that. We're talking about fundamental architectural problems, security nightmares, and code that looks like it was written by a very uh, enthusiastic but clueless intern. But it looks like it was about 20 interns because there's so much code to it. Now, last month, a client called because their AI-generated e-commerce platform was automatically creating fake product reviews for items that didn't exist. So then it was linking to items and they were even broken, right? So the business owner used a vibe coding platform to build their entire site over a weekend using natural language prompts. They launched without any code review and customers started complaining about reviews for products they couldn't find. When they tried to fix it by prompting the AI again, it introduced even more bugs and started duplicating the entire product categories. Now the AI had hallucinated features that weren't in the original prompt and created logic loops that kept generating content. So we had to completely rebuild the product catalog system and implement proper validation to stop the runaway automation. Now, next one, a startup founder contacted us after the AI coding assistant deleted their entire customer database during what was supposed to be a simple update. Now, very first question I had for this guy is like, why in the world did you have your production database connected to this? He's like, but I put prompts in there telling it not to delete anything or I'm like, dude, like you. <laughs> They were using AI tools to make quick changes to their SaaS application without understanding the underlying database structure. The founder explicitly told the AI not to modify the database, but interpreted optimize the user table as delete the unused records. If you like this clip, make sure you check out the full Startup Hack live video here because we've got lots more for you today.